Hello everybody and welcome back to the House of Storm, and welcome to Tavern Talk. So I've seen this game a few times around TikTok and YouTube, and it's like a game you run in like a tavern, it looks like it's like D&D style, fantasy style, and I'm very interested in it. Um, and there's a demo version you can play, and we're going to be doing that right now. So let's start a new game. My pronouns are he, him, and start. Act 1, the way for is in. Hi, Inkeep. How's it going? All nice and dandy? Can't complain. How about you, Fable? All nice and dandy? Yes, yes. All nice and dandy. You sure? <laughs> I had such an exciting day. Really, really exciting. Did you go on an adventure? Even better. I took a walk around the grove. Then I replanted a mushroom that had fallen over. Then I patiently waited for it to turn into a mushroom monster or mushroom mimic, maybe a gnome. Did it? No. But I got to take another walk around the grove. How was it? Great. I got to see the same stones, the same trees, the same Amarathian Hydra guarding the entrance to Avalon, the same moss. Sounds very exciting. Who am I kidding? My life is exciting as a dried nut. Oh, don't be sad. Nuts are healthy, very thrilling in sauces or as a snack. There are various nut types. Walnuts, peanuts, pecan nuts. I'm allergic. <laughs> oh. I didn't know that. Oh no, no worries. I mean, I never told you. I just was, I just was something would happen in my life. Something riveting. So, what you're saying is that you're missing the spice. Oh, no, no, no. I have a very sensitive stomach. Don't think chilies would help me much. I was talking about the spice in your life. Ah! Oh, that's what you meant. Oh, yes. Yes, exactly. That's it. There's no chili flakes, no garlic, nymphs, no dragons. Just a lot of salt. <laughs> I'm like a bland soup. Classic case of boredom. I see. Do you know that feeling when nothing exciting is going on in your life? Like life isn't bad, but also not particularly funny? You try to add some zest to your soup. You try visiting a circus. Huh? Drama. Buzz. Excitement. Something fiery. Go to the theater. Or a gala. Arrive in a hot air balloon. A hot air balloon? Don't they fly up really high? Yes, I think that's the point. Ah, I'm afraid of heights, and people, and of actors. <laughs> but apart from that, I'm trying. I tried sinning, but what is sinning if not telling of a tale? How can I sin of things if I never live through anything? Day in, day out. I live in the same green soup of routines. Sure, I have my forest and I look after it, but I want to get out there and see something. Like, for example, saving people, wandering through the marshes, meeting a pretty nymph. It sounds like an opening to a grand adventure. Oh, really? You think so? Well, perhaps it would be. Not that it would actually occur, because all I do is sit around and wish for things to happen. I don't even know what nymphs do. Never met one. Taxes, maybe? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I would love to sing about the exciting magical things I encounter. To be honest, the most exciting thing in my life is coming to your tavern and discovering new drinks. Not a lot of songs you can write about that. I wouldn't mind a jingle. I'll think of one. Can I mention nymphs? I'd prefer if you didn't. <laughs> Okay, maybe one day I get to offer them their own jingle. In the meantime, can I offer you a drink? Yes, I would love a drink. The usual? Yes, please. That means a sunny breeze, in case you forgot. Thank you for the reminder, Fable. It's my favorite. It always makes me feel like a featherlight nymph floating in the waves of a sunny lake. Do you want to be with a nymph, or be the nymph? 
both. <laughs> but mostly I want a sunny breeze. Message received. Though, though, I was wondering. I've been coming to your tavern for so long and I still don't know anything about how you make your drinks. Did you show me? Yes. Really? Yes. What do I do? Do I need to put on an apron or summon a familiar? How do I summon a familiar? Just follow me. Welcome to my drink mixing nook. So what it looks like back here. Hello, Andu. Oh, look at him. Be careful. I haven't fed him yet. Where do we start? Well, usually I start by figuring out what my patrons want. To make sure I don't forget what they ordered, I take notes in my journal. Let's have a look. I want to look for specifics, I check my detailed notes. I do keep a log just in case. When I'm sure I know what was asked of me, I browse my recipes. Can't just free and mix something to see what sticks? No. I like to mix and match for a more varied result, but the right balance is crucial. So I stick to my recipes. When I have settled on one, I can use the chalk to draw it on the board. What if you pick the wrong one? I can either erase it with a sponge or just pick a different recipe. My ingredients are stored in the five bottles to the right. Here are those. There's dexterity, intelligence, defense, strength, and charisma. The usual. I think dexterity sounds the tastiest. I had a feeling you might say that. If I mess up or want to redo my drink for any other reason, I can simply feed my mistakes to Andu. Once I'm done, I press the bell to activate the primordial vortex. Actually, I don't need to bore you with the magic details. Just try making a drink. You've got this. Okay. Let's make that sunny breeze. So we gotta match this to this. Let's get it all the way up. Okay, a little bit of this. Make it go this way. That does not look right. Let's look how full that is. Yeah, can't even use that. All right, here you go. Here, just take it all. Start that again. Flip it that way. Flip it that way. And I think just straight up. Boom. Sunny breeze. Wow, it actually does teleport. Of course. What did you think would <laughs> what did you think was happening? I thought you were just very good at sleight of hand. I see. Well, give your creation a taste. That is delicious. I made that. You made that. Thank you for showing me the ropes. Thank you for your enthusiasm. These adventures you dream of, aren't you scared they'll be the end of you? Sometimes. But how would I know if I never tried? Do you actually want to try? Well, yes, I want to tell great stories, but... Never mind. Aw. Who are you, stranger? How can I help you? A drink. For you? Right. What kind? Drinkable. Very specific, thank you. I'm on my way to a fight. Need to pay some debts. Give me something that will boost my defense so I can claim victory. Okay. I'll see what I can find. Aw. Aw. 
see. Uh, probably steel tonic. Yeah. So let's see. A little bit of this. Not a lot, though. Looks like to the first one. Maybe a little bit over. Yeah, there we go. And a little bit of this. There we go. Think a little bit of this as well. Then the rest you. No, okay. Nope, that was not it. Yeah, you go ahead and take all that, buddy. So I do think a little bit of this, a little bit of this, no, that was not it either. It's a good thing I get unlimited time. This guy's probably like, where the hell is my drink? Alright, so... Here's the middle here. I think a little bit of this... Right there. Because here's the second one. It's a little bit over. There we go. Like that. Nope, that's actually too much. Take a little bit of that for me. There we go. Here a little bit. Not quite to the second one, but right around it. Might be good. Then a little bit of this, right there, and then the rest, the fence. Nope. <laughs> I'll get it right, I promise. Let's take the whole thing. Well, defense for sure, all the way to the end. Right at the end there. This for sure. Then this. There it is. It only took me four tries. This should taste like victory. Thanks. Almost washes away the memories of the Banshee haunting the Lonesome Lagoon at night. And her bone-shattering Song of Sorrow. Almost. Enough to kick some ass, at least. Alright. Rumor unlocks on a Bones and Water. The brooding type, I see. What are you thinking about, Fable? Nothing. Just dreams. Yours or someone else's? Mine. Other people seem to have the courage to follow theirs. Why can't I be like that? Isn't that up to you? I wish it was. My brother says my dreams are a fool's errand. That I am running away from where I belong. Is that what he said? Yes. He said... We are rangers, Fable. We belong to the woods. Like the stream that patters... Down the mountain. We keep the balance. It's what we're meant to do. Is that what you want to do? Yes. No. Not really. I want to experience things outside the safe borders of the forest. I want to live a life so full of adventure. Boredom will feel like bliss. I want to be brave and strong. And I want to sing songs about my adventures that make other people yearn for the same freedom. Of course, I could never leave the ash and grove behind forever. It is my home. There's nothing wrong with going away from time to time, right? I mean, my family looks after the grove. I think I'd, it'd be fine without me. And you should do what your heart desires. Will it stop aching then? <laughs> I think so, yes. But what if destiny never is never meant for me to leave? What if it did? That'd be a dream come true. Be your own genie, Fable. Your adventures start with you. 
Thank you, innkeeper. You really are the most exciting part of my day. A little later. Hmm. With whom do I have the pleasure? The name's Carlin. Or Carolyn? I'm gonna go with Carlin. You can call me Car or Lynn. Couldn't care less. I'll call you Lynn. Nice to meet you, Carlin. <laughs> what can I do for you? You do the thing with the quest, right? Yes. Do you want one? You can have a look at my notice board. Ugh, no. I may have one for you. Or your notice board. Elaborate. Heard of a werewolf making trouble up in Trigarin? A werewolf? Okay, here's my rumors. This is my little book. Quest, rumors, log, recipes, ingredients. Inf I don't have any infusions yet. Alright, rumors. A banshee's haunting the Lonesome Lagoon, willing to sound that will shatter your bones. The Vulcan Carolyn told me about a werewolf who's roaming around Tregan. Tregarin, a potential threat to villagers. Werewolf? That's news to me. Listen, me too. Didn't see one in almost a decade. And that was far south in Arov. Arove? I'm gonna butcher some of these cities. But I wonder if it's the same one, just moving up like a nomad. I thought the werewolf hype died together. Ooh. Werewolf previously has been seen in Arovea, a southern town. A nomad, or do they have a goal in mind? The werewolf hype died together with that one romance novel. Ugh. You mean the one with the vampires? I think so. Nah, that just split society in two camps. Team Werewolf or Team Vampire? Team Edward or Team Jacob? Which one were you in, Keep? I was Team Vampire. Ah, so you're into the fangs, ain't ya? An innkeeper never tells. You little rascal. I like you. Likewise. What about you? Vampires. Why? The wolves are too close to my kin, and yeah, I'd rather stay away from them. Is that the reason why you don't want to take care of the werewolf yourself? Yes. No. I'm just afraid he might look a little too familiar to my Uncle Dragon. Would feel bad slaying that fella. You know, hunchback, hairy, crooked teeth. Is it a werewolf or just Uncle Dragon? You couldn't tell. That's funny. Want to avoid an awkward family reunion, you know? Alright, anything else that might help others get done with it rather swiftly. Fetch. Pardon me? Should they get into a dangerous situation, they'll just have to start playing fetch. That works? On any dog, trust me. Good to know. Werewolf secret weakness is playing fetch. Apparently no dog can resist the urge run after a stick. Let's put this down here. Good to know. Thanks, Carlin. It's not that hard. Either Car <laughs> either Carlin, Carlin. Gotcha, Lin. Alright, Chief. You got a name, or is it just Inkeep? Just Inkeep for now. Playing hard to get, I see. Well, Inkeep, then before I venture on, you got a drink for me? Of course. What would you like? I'll take something powerful. Something with a whole lot of strength. And don't you dare give me any of that watered-down muck instead. Alright. Ooh, speed, strength. So strength is top, right? No, strength is below. So probably, yeah, Sailor's Courage. Alright, let's get the strength all the way down. Not all the way yet. There we go. Right at the end there. And then a little bit of this. Yep. Right at the top there. And then it looks like a little bit of defense. Sailor's Courage. Did better that time. One try. There you go. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Drink with zero water as requested. 
Not bad. Just what I was craving. Thanks. Where will you head from here? Perhaps back north. Through the Ashen Grove. Got some business to clean up. What kind of business? My cousin claims her crops are being stolen by undead snails. I'd say she is hallucinating, but I did hear some folks complaining about an undead uptake up north, so... Might as well humor her. Why is this one so big? Just right, right in the middle here. No, I, I don't like that. There we go. Okay. Our unusual amount of undeads seem to be haunting the north. Undead snails are being accused of stealing crops. This apparently poses a problem. Sad, ain't it? Resurrecting the dead? I think there's not much use digging up the past. Past haunts everyone willing to listen. Hmm. Would you mind talking like a normal person? No. <laughs> then don't bother. This is my tavern. And I'm leaving it. If you find any more rumors or need aid, don't shy away from coming back. I'm more of a lone wolf. Don't do groups. But sure, I'll be back for more work. I'll be waiting. Speaking of rumors, you know how to turn them into proper quest, right? Don't want them to go to waste. I could use some help. Fine. I guess I've got a few minutes. Let me see your setup. This is where I sort all the rumors I've collected. I also keep them written down in my journal. So it looks like I can only have three. So I don't forget. Smart. I think the best next step would be sorting the fit and snippets onto your quest page. Just drag them over and make sure they're all for the same quest. Otherwise, you'll end up confusing adventures. Once you're done, select that quill of yours and it'll be written up. It'll be written up. Got it? Got it. Thank you for your help, Lynn. Put it on my tab. That's not how that works. Good night to you, too. All right, time to assemble a quest. Okay. These are all the same. It's all the werewolf one. Distant Vulcan passed by the Wayfarer's Inn, reporting a werewolf making their way up to Trigaron to Erevin. They pose a potential threat to helpless villagers. Apparently, werewolves love playing fetch. Are you brave enough to take on the quest and save Trigaron from this werewolf mayhem and keep? I wonder if we'll get to name ourselves in the final game. I like this already a lot, though. There you go, buddy. Fiftieth of the Wake, Act One, The Wayfarer's Inn. Two, Prelude to Bravery. Quest taken. Are you gonna take the werewolf quest, Fable? What do you have there, Fable? I found this on your notice board. It says a werewolf is terrorizing Trigaron. Is that true? It is indeed. Have you sent anyone after it yet? Not yet. What kind of hero are you? Um, looking for. One who knows their way around a difficult terrain? Woods, even. Preferably one who is good with a bow. One that will tell me that they want the quest. Ah. I am good with the bow. Yes, Fable. I know my way around any woods. I know, Fable. And... And... Maybe I want that quest. Just maybe? No, not just maybe. Since today, all I've been able to think about is you telling me to follow my heart. And I step into your tavern, and the quest is practically just jumps out at me, and I think... Hey, there's a start for an adventure. It's near a forest, you know forest, you live in a forest, and werewolves are basically just normal wolves, but slightly scarier because they're also human. You've talked to humans before. You got silver arrows for your birthday last year, and they're just collecting dust in your room. And... And, and, 
And I thought I could ask you about if anyone had taken it yet. And then... I didn't think that far. Let's see. Or rather, I did, but then I thought, what if I take the quest? Then I have to go on a quest. I have to fight the werewolf. Or talk to the werewolf, which is worse. Because what if the werewolf doesn't like me? And what if when I try to shoot at my silver arrow, I miss and shoot a tree instead? And then the tree will be mad at me. But it won't really matter because I'll be dead. Because of the werewolf. It took a quick turn. So maybe I should put the quest back? Fable? Yes. Do you want me to tell you to take that quest? Maybe. I can't make that decision for you. Neither can I. Whenever I have to make a difficult decision, I freeze in place. And suddenly I'm unable to move until someone makes the decision for me. Like, like, like a slime. A frozen slime. A frozen slime that can't move. That slime's less anxious than you. You've met slimes. My taverner's open to everyone. Oh, right. What do slimes drink? Water. More slime. Bones. You sell bones? Only the slimes. Ah, maybe you can add my bones to your menu soon. You'll just have to pick them up from the forest. I think I'd have a hard time convincing a werewolf to give up free bones. Are you so anxious, Fable? In general? About taking the quest? It seems to me that you want to take it. But you're trying to talk yourself out of it instead. Oh. Well, I do want to go on that quest. It would make a good start for a son, right? The prelude of an epic fable. The protector of the woods. The world. The worms. They seem like they need protecting. But every time that I think about embarking on a quest, all I can think about are the ways in which it could go wrong. She has anxiety. That's what she has. <laughs> There's something making you feel like you might fail. Aside from the bloodthirsty werewolf, we don't know what it's thirsty for. But before orange juice, it might. Well, heroes have a history, right? Inspirational feats they can look back on to define their bravery. I have the opposite of that. Great mistakes and epic regrets. Like the Mary... Morgan incident. For the reason why nobody wants to spend time with me. Oof. Yes, the Mary Morgan incident. Didn't you hear of it? Oh, thanks, Spirit. Or didn't carry around. It was my very first adventure, the chance to finally get out of my daily grind. What happened? The adventuring party was on their way, passing through the Ashen Grove. They wanted guidance from a local ranger. Merchant of Trigon recommended me. I agreed to help, of course. My first adventure. Yay! I was so excited, but also very, very nervous. So, of course, it ought to go wrong. I really wanted to leave a good impression, but my bad luck got in the way of that. How did it go wrong? They... I felt their con condescending looks on my back as I walked them through the woods. Of course, I don't know whether they actually looked. My fear got hold of me and I led them astray. I blacked out, I think. I never got lost in the woods before. But I couldn't see well with the blood rushing in my ears and feeling dizzy. So for some stupid reason, I led them along a path no one should ever pass. Past the riverbanks of the Shiver Mere, home to the Mary Morgan. Or Mari Morgan. You know the Mari Morgan, yes, the wrathful spirit that is known to drown men. Not sure if she really differentiates between genders, though. Maybe these two? Some stupid reason I let them right in their arms. I got scared, and in the end, they had to save me. They fought the creature, and we finally found a way when dawn broke. Couldn't look at them for the rest of the journey. I was too embarrassed to speak. I'm sure I'm still their laughing stock at every gathering. Am I ever supposed to set foot in the adventuring world again? To be fair, could have been worse. Could have led them right into the arms of the Wyvern Shamira res residing in the Quag Mangrove. They said it's a taste for adventures. Nice. Okay. 
I do think these two gotta be related. But you didn't. But I didn't. You seem to be very insecure. I think that's the biggest problem. But how could I not be? All I ever do is fail. I don't think that's true. You've done many wonderful things, and the future is yet to be written. I don't think anyone really wants to read my story. I would. Personally, I'm very much looking forward to hearing about your heroic ballads. Ballads. <laughs> so you think I should go on that quest? Perhaps. Even after what you just heard? I almost killed those adventurers. How am I supposed to save anyone? I'll probably just make it worse. Your absence will not make it better. You don't know that. Neither do you. All we know is that without you, there will be one less person helping them. Someone else would do a better job. There might not be someone else. That would be horrible. Someone has to help those people. They can't just be abandoned. I agree. What if I do make it worse? What if you make it better? What if you help them? Save them, even. So what if you make a mistake in the middle? Or if someone else comes along to give you a hand? Four hands are better than two. And who knows? You might even end up joining a party. Perfect heroes do not exist anyhow. Just the ones that try, even if they are scared. Well, if they are terrified, then they should try... Then they should try terrified. At least that means they are trying. Instead of running away. Would you prefer to run? No, I think I only run because I'm better at it. Then again, I never really tried anything else. Maybe I should not decide to walk away before I even tried the other path. In a case of emergency, better heroes can always save me again. Or you them. One day, maybe. First, I'm going to save all these villagers, so that at least some of us don't have to be afraid anymore. Nowhere else shall stand a chance against me. Right? Right. You will do great. I just know it. But before you go, would you like a drink to aid you on your journey? Yes, please. I even got new infusions in this morning, so I'm all prepared to help. That sounds wonderful. What do you have? I got some Thunder Sage, which is said to enchant words. With its magic, you should be able to inspire others and boost their abilities through your support. Then I have a couple Golden Feathers. They're extremely rare, but once in your possession, they can grant you haste. Briefly, the expiration date is a bit unpredictable. How'd you get those? Pure luck. Alright then, keep your secrets. Mm. So considering all that, you have something that can make me more nimble and quiet so that the werewolf won't see me coming. So with a lot of dexterity. I want to fight, I'm going to need that surprise around advantage. So maybe haste would be helpful too. Maybe instead, something that can help me with... I'll give her haste. Perhaps just a hungry, lost lichen after all, and it needs a pep talk and a hug. Maybe we can even be friends. But I would need something with a lot of charisma for that. So some additional and some some additional inspiration. The choice up to you. Just make sure you don't pick a random recipe, please. Keep it to one of the abilities I asked for. Where your choice can influence my fate. It could change the entire outcome of this quest. But of course, I'm sure you're already aware. Sorry for backseat mixing. Okay. Yeah, that's smart. Infusion first. Okay, so we need to give her something with loss of dexterity. Which would be the top one there. Let's see. Which one's Charisma? Is that this one? So let's do a Peak Sunrise. This is Haste. That's strength, though. We don't really need that. I 
There we go. There you go. Thank you. I feel much better. Braver. Farming. No, wait, that sounds like I'm tending to a farm. So I'm gonna... Hopefully she can convince the werewolf. And I didn't just get her killed. There are a lot of farmers in Trigarin. And I'm going to protect them all. Or talk to them until they feel better. I'm sure they could need that too. I just hope I don't have to fight anyone. Okay, we didn't give her anything for fighting. No, I'll be okay. Because of your help, I'm able to talk myself out of any situation. Thank you again. I think this drink gave me the courage I needed. I believe in you, Fable. Thank you. I will try to follow your example. Follow your heart instead. I think that one's a better roadmap. I came up to tell you about my victory. Best of luck. Best of patience. Alright. Oh, Fable will be alright. Wonder which path their fate took. Maybe a zesty one. I hope I could help. Hope I didn't get her killed. Oh, I'm already worried. Alright, so that was it for this day. Alright, Act 1, Chapter 3. New friends and former enemies. Okay, Fable's okay. A drink for me and this lanky fella. It's good to see you too, Lynn. She meant to say please. Welcome back, Fable. You look alive. Thank you, I am. That seems like a given. I'm just happy to see them doing well. And with a friend. We ain't friends. We're not? Oh. <laughs> So you didn't join a party? No. Oh. Then what is the drink about? They may be very annoying, but they did just help me solve a family feud of ten years. So I do owe them some of your dishwater at least. Family feud? I wouldn't call it a feud. More of a miscommunication. No, it was a feud. I was gonna kill him. I thought that was a joke. It wasn't. Oh. But no one died? No. Elfie here was able to prevent it. It's Fable. Whatever. Does this, perchance, have something to do with your quest? It does. I stopped her from killing the werewolf. Elaborate, please. I was going to kill the werewolf. They stopped me from killing the werewolf. What's not to get? A lot. I think he is confused because the quest was to save the villagers from the werewolf. And now it sounds like I saved the werewolf from you. Which I did, kind of. I also remember you saying you did not want the quest, Lynn. I didn't. It was there by chance. They were both stealing sheep. Wasn't. Sure was. Adventuring pay ain't what it once was. So you steal other people's sheep? Mind your own business. How does any of this lead to a successful quest? Well, um... After leaving your tavern, I traveled swiftly through the Ashen Grove. I reached the borders of Tregaren right after dawn. The vineyards stretched far ahead. I saw one of the... Wait, I saw the one or other farm nestled in between. Truly... Idyllic, at least before sunset. Do you have trouble in the dark? Emotionally? Visually. A little. I mean, I reckon I could still see more than the human could, but darkness is darkness, and I am no owl. Thanks, spirit. You were already weird enough. Anyway, luckily darkness doesn't affect my hearing. So I hear a creaking fence and footsteps that are failing at keeping it quiet. Your ears are failing at being small. So I sneak closer, and I see a werewolf-esque shape picking up a tiny sheep. I was petting it. I think she was going to steal it. I summoned all my courage and I stepped out of the shadows and said, Good evening, werewolf. Please put down the sheep. I didn't expect her to be in her full senses, of course, but I wanted to be polite. And I thought it might confuse her. It did confuse me, alright. Who the heck sees a werewolf? And the first thing they do is greet them. 
a polite person or an insane one. Well, it worked, didn't it? Because I ain't a werewolf. He wasn't that different. But I am skipping ahead. To my surprise, instead of a growl, the werewolf, or not werewolf, responded with a what? Surprise my plan worked. I said again, please put down the sheep. Because stealing sheep isn't very nice. And she asked who I was. No, I asked, who are you? A guard? I was about to introduce myself when we heard this blood-curdling growl. Please, it was barely a bark. It made the blood freeze in my veins. Hearing heavy footsteps, I barely dared to turn around. He turned immediately. And when I did, I stared into the twisted face of a werewolf. Yellow gleaming eyes, gleaming with jaundice. Sharp teeth, giant claws. He looked like he wanted to eat me right up. He did. Before I could beg for mercy, something rushed past me and lunged at the werewolf. When I regained my composure, Lynn and the werewolf were on the ground fighting tooth and nail. And the sheep? Obviously, I set it down before. So you came to Fable's aid? No. That ain't it. I noticed the wolf's flannel rags. They were blue, checkered, had not even print. Please tell me it was her uncle. <laughs> yes! Just the kind of stuff Uncle Dragon likes to wear, that old piece of shit. <laughs> hey, why can't I say that? <laughs> what the? Youth protection. The age rating assessment is quite harsh. Damn it! <laughs> ah. Anyway, it was dressed like Uncle Dragon. It smelled like Uncle Dragon. Fought like him, too. I was joking, when, so it's a good thing we didn't give her the strength, and hell or hey, she would have killed him. I was joking when I brought it up before, you know. I haven't seen that old man in years. The only way I can bring him up to these days is by joking. Because of the feud? Yes. He used to be my favorite uncle. But then he changed. Became irritable and angry. Distant. Fought a lot with Uncle Fedor. Cared more about the moon than he did his own family. Eventually, he just left. Ran away without a word. Left us and Uncle Fedor behind to worry senseless. Till we found a letter saying not to look for him. And all their savings missing. I swore I was going to kill him if I ever saw him again. So that's why you wanted to talk it out with your fist. I tried. But Alfie stopped me. I'm glad they did. How'd you figure that out? Well, she was yelling at him. I tried to get their attention by telling them to stop, but they wouldn't listen, so... I got them to stop for long enough to get them to listen to me. I threatened that if they didn't stop to talk, I would shoot them both. But I've never done that, of course. But they must have believed me because they actually stopped to listen. Looked mighty scary there, little guy. Thank you. I sat them down and made sure to be between them. So if they, if they wanted to fight, they would have to go through me. That sounds dangerous. Was. Wouldn't have stopped for them. What? You're the size of a stick. You think you could stop two angry wolves? Oh, well. Anyway. Used the opportunity to figure out what was going on. And that's how I found out about Mr. Dragon and Lynn and their disagreement. Feud. The feud. Sure. Turns out that after Mr. Dragon was turned, he was too ashamed to admit it. And that ended up hurting all the people he cared about. That's no excuse, of course. No, it ain't. If we had known, we would have helped them best we could. At the very least, we would have built a sturdy shed with scratch-proof walls for full moons. Didn't expect that, though. So he decided to fix the problem by leaving. Deal with it alone. All of that. That only made it worse. Of course he was too embarrassed to come back, so he just focused on the whole werewolf thing and not any of the human things. That's something him and Lynn have in common. What? Stubbornness. An unwillingness to ask for help. But they had to talk about it. The silent resentment wasn't good for either of them. And you got them to do that. The little stick is strangely persuasive. Something about their earnesty is frustrating and inspiring. I was talking about it before I realized I didn't want to. Maybe because you didn't want to. Maybe. How did it go? 
Fine. We'll take some time to accept his apology. We'll have to see him change first. Apologize to Uncle Fedor and the rest. But it was good to see him again. Guess a hug did feel better than a great sword in his gut. Wonderful. Of course, there's still the problem with the whole werewolf thing. Idiot got so obsessed with the cure, he could still barely control himself. We have to realize that even a cure couldn't change what he's done. That he has to accept he is different now, learn how to live again. Of course, it isn't easy. No change ever is. I learned that from you. We have a group of werewolves living near our settlement. A small community that enjoys the company of our warm trees. They taught me about the phases of the seven moons and the secrets of the moon signs. That sounds like a bunch of... <laughs> it's real. You're a crescent moose. We introduced Mr. Dragon to them, and they promised they would take him in and help him deal with his homotropy. Lycanthropy? I'm saying that completely wrong, probably. His werewolfism. That sounds great. It is. It's a happy ending. I wouldn't call it an end. Rather, the beginning of something new. So the end of adventure is just the beginning of a new one. Exactly. I like that. So after your heroic therapy session, you two decided to grab a drink together. Got offered to spend the day at the settlement. But they don't serve anything strong enough for my taste. Plus, Elfie here was dying to go back here. He's talking about how they need to update you on everything nonstop. Would think they live here or something. I had to report back about the quest. I'm glad you did. So a drink. What can I offer you, Lynn? Okay. Surprise me with something that fits my strength and brawn. Okay. So she wants something strong. Okay, so intelligence, defense, attack, speed, right? Probably Sailor's Courage again. Okay, so I probably should have added that first. Oh, nope. Too much. There we go. There you go. Surprise! Not bad. You should do this professionally. I do. I'll think about it. Fable, what about you? Do you have something that will calm me down? Maybe even bring some of my agility back? I would like to feel dexterous again. That was a stressful day. Night. Morning. Sequence of events. Okay. Probably this. Yeah, dexterity. Okay, let's make her, uh... Let's see if I can do this by memory. That was some of this. That was some of this. Yeah. Look at me go. Here you go. Thank you. Wow, this is perfect. Okay, right drink. Oof. You look tired. Have you considered sleep? Because it tastes so bad? So do you. Maybe sleep is a good idea. Lynn, do you have a place to sleep? 
I can sleep anywhere. It's a talent. It's depressing. I have a free room. You can stay there. I'll count it as payment for your help with the quest. Fine. Later, Alfie. See you. Oh, she's gone. Later. Are you heading home, Fable? Not yet, if that's okay. I think I would like to stay here for a little longer. Calm down a bit before I check on all my plants. Unless you need to close up. Stay, please. Did you enjoy your first quest? I did! It was scary and different than I expected. But I didn't know I was so good at pretending to be charming. Have you considered that you weren't pretending? Hmm. I hope this isn't going to be my last adventure. I think this is just the beginning. That would be nice. Do you think I'm going to save the world one day? That's a very tall ask. Ha. You're right. I'm not cut out for that. I didn't say that. I'd prefer if the world did not end. Right. Let's hope not. I like this world. And a calamity like that would be disastrous. Even if it would make for a good song. Or for a sad one. Or both. Thank you for believing in me, Innkeeper. Always. Can't wait to hear about your next quest. Me neither. Ooh, who else are we gonna go? Good, she's still here. Oh, hello. Good day, little green mortal. Good day, Mr. Vampire. And good day to you, lustrous innkeeper. Good evening, Vampiric. Vampire. That's the best you can do. I am running out of lines. So you're another one of those empty babblers. I can confidently say I'm all but empty. That's what they all say. Seems they've given you some more options than usual. Doesn't convince me just yet. I'm sorry. I don't think I understand. Of course. Probably forgot to give you enough intellect. It would surprise me if there actually was a brain inside that skull. I'm sure there is. Have you checked? No, but I can assure you, I'm different from your average background character. He really is. He has a lot of personality. You just have to get to know him. Sure. I must agree. You look much more delicious than they usually do. Thank you. Though I should let you know, I am not on the menu. What a great day of woe. <laughs> look, there's a slime on him. First my cape, and now this. You have a cape? The most exquisite one of all of Asteria. Words would not be able to do it justice to its beauty. Have you seen it, by the way? No. That's why we are here. Perhaps the slime ate your cape. The little creature doesn't seem like it would do such a horrible thing. Does it have a name? I never asked. Probably not. Maybe you should sometime. Speaking of names, what may yours be, little leafling? That's Fable, the great up-and-coming hero from the Ashen Grove. Just Fable is fine. How about you, Mr. Vampire? Me? What other vampires are there in this room? <laughs> Hopefully none. But you can never know for sure. My name is Sir Alphonse Louis Frederick de Quit de Lassane. It's long for Kyle. <laughs> Kyle? Kyle. May I ask for your name as well, miss? You may stop calling me miss. Sorry. Call me Rhea instead. Rhea Frostgrip. Nice to meet you, Rhea Frostgrip, Kyle and unnamed slime. Indeed. Welcome to my tavern. Now that we're past the pleasantries, would you like to tell me more about that cape? Some sort of visibility cape. If any of his blabbering is to be believed. This sounds very magical. It is, but he seems to have lost it. I have. He have. What a great tragedy. Kyle, well, parenthesis, that's amazing. With quotations. My cape of visibility is utter importance. If I do not get it back, I'm afraid I shall perish immediately. This sounds very magical. Dearest, dearest innkeeper, dearest fable, must retrieve my cape. Could you please help me? I think I know just what to do. Dear player, you've reached the end of the Tavern Talk demo. 
Alright everyone, that was the Tavern Talk demo. If you enjoyed this, please let me know. And we'll do the full game when it eventually comes out. Um, I can't wait for it. This was a lot of fun. And guys, I want to thank you so much for being a guest in the House of Storm. And I will see you all in the next video. Thank you.